I've got a solution to how to fix holding the ball. It's a radical idea that is completely different, but it might have a bit of the method behind the madness. Can I give? Can we go through that right now? Let's go for it. All right. So as we know, holding the ball is just the AFL, whatever reason, will not pay it. As an example, on the weekend in the Carlton versus the Suns game, there were 131 tackles laid with a whopping, stay tuned for this, four holding the ball paid. Four. Four. Disgraceful. Uh, and one thing that I cannot stand, and I know you you, you, you see this, and everybody on, on, on this season as well too, when there's a ball gets under a player and then the player's teammate mm, lays on top of them to hold the ball in to cause the stoppage, umpire goes, give it to me, and then it's a ball up. Here's my radical idea. I like it. As well as just a normal standard holding the ball, what about a team holding the ball? So picture this. Melbourne are down by four points. Port Adelaide into their forward line. Ball gets comes, comes down to ground. Aaliyah Aaliyah jumps onto the ball, holds it in, and at the same time, Jason Horn Francis stacks on the mill to hold the ball in. But at the same time, Christian Petrarca grabs the back of Aaliyah Aaliyah, hand up, look at me, look at me, and the umpire goes, team holding the ball. Your team is not making an attempt at all to get the ball out, holding the ball. Free kick, turn it over. That's my radical. I'm saying that instead of just giving holding the ball like a one-on-one, if you've got your teammate on your back holding it in at the same time and the opposition player pretty much holds them up like the old school days, hold the back of the jumper and hold the hand up, waving to the umpire saying, holding the ball, holding the ball, that should be holding the ball because your team is not making an attempt to get the ball out. Thoughts and feelings, listeners. I reckon it's a cracking idea, and I wanted to throw it out there because it's it's left field, and I and it's true. Bo Hawkins has written this. Andrew Dillon blaming congestion is like me blaming the dog for eating my homework. Congestion has nothing to do with holding the ball. When there's 131 tackles umpire and you only pay four, that is an interpretation. When players are being spun around, they're making no attempt to get rid of the ball. Because they've got one hand being held, they've still got the ball. They've got to get rid of it, and they're not, and they're not paying it. And it's getting worse. It's getting worse. And what a player is doing, well, if you're not going to call it, I'm going to bring him to ground. And we're seeing what's happening. Concussions, head knocks, players getting weeks. Something has to change. And I reckon stacks on the mill, team holding the ball, could be a way to stop umpire, uh, to stop players just going stacks on the mill and and just trying to hold the ball in. I think it. I think that is adding a rule that just is once again will become frustrating because now we're going, we'll be going. Oh, that was the second person on top. That's the third person. That's the. And then you're like, oh no, that that, that per- you can the have person, stick. the person who fell on top, they will pull down into the contest. No, I think I think on the ball, making no attempt, and you see them jump on the back, and the player goes like that. It should be holding the ball because they are making no attempt to get it out. Just get the rule right in the first place, otherwise it gets messy and messy and messy. I wholeheartedly agree. They they do not blow the whistle fast enough. They do not blow the the whistle quick enough. They give the play with the ball way way too much time. They let them take the uh, the amount of times I saw players getting run down over the weekend. Beautiful textbook tackles, dropping the ball, but because they made an attempt, it's play on. Yeah, I don't like that. Dispose of it correctly, and that is that is crap. You've got to dispose of it correctly. How often have we seen players literally take the take take the hand, take the the ball and dish off a handball in less than less than a second? If you are caught with the ball, done, done. Yeah. Not not oh, opportunity or this. No. Prior of that stuff it needs to be scrapped. Prior up, if you get caught with the ball and you don't dispose of it correctly, they never used to have prior opportunity, and for some reason they brought it in, and it has made the game worse. 